Welcome to NVMIT tutorial. In this video, we will learn about modeling in NVMIT. For that, we need to open the headquarters of NVMIT. Now, for environmental simulation in NVMIT, we will use spaces to model the buildings, trees, etc. If you don't know how to install the headquarter panel, please watch our previous video. Now, if you click on spaces from the panel, you will see the interface for modeling in NVMIT. So first, we need to create the site area in which we will work on. Here, you can see the model domain setting table. In the model location, type the name of the location. We are using Ruid buildings for the modeling. Now click on the find location button and again write down the name of the location. Click search with Google map and click search. The location should pop up in the matching location box. Now if you select the location and click on it, the exact position of the site in the earth will be shown. Now click on apply changes to the existing area. So now for our references, I have already created a bitmap. Now to open the bitmap, we have to go to digitalize and select bitmap. When the file is open, zoom out a little bit. Now I have to scale this bitmap according to these dots in the interface that represents meters. First of all, we go to our edit area and model geometry. Here we can see that the size of grid cell are 2 meters. We will change it back to 5 meter in all axes and grid to 60 x and y. 30 to Z. I have already noted that our north in the bitmap rotated in 260 degrees. Now let's put in the value and apply the changes to existing area. If we click on north arrow, we can see that north is aligned with the north of bitmap. We can turn on and off these points, pixels that helps to scale here. Again, go to digitalize and zoom in a little bit. We can see that I have cr already created a scale for this bitmap. So by changing this top right left pixel axis, we will be able to scale our site and this changes the position of the map. Now we can see that the 10 meter are equal to approximately two points about X and Y. Our site already been scaled and according to the NVMIT interface. Now we will start 3D modeling. For this, we need to click on those buildings and input the height of the building. For this building, the height will be 60 meter. Now input 16 and click on this 1 1 pixels or you can draw 2 2 pixels. I will be drawing 1 1 pixels. Zoom in a little bit to draw accurately and start modeling the buildings. Now suppose you have gone across your site or mistakenly drawn a building here. So to remove this, we have to click here and select the top right corner and click on this and select the end of the pixels and click on clean selected area. 
Here it will show you the items you want to clear from the selected area. You can click on remove everything or the selected part like I have selected building parts. Click on selected area and click yes. And the part will be removed. And to remove the selection, click here. Now I will scroll down the map and start 3D modeling. I have input all the height of the buildings. Now I will start modeling the road. For assigning the road and soils, go to soil and surface by clicking the system profiles. The default soil and surface given in the spaces is Laumi soil. So I will not change the default soil and surface. Here we can see our reference bitmap is not visible. We will click on the soil and surfaces but if we click on the display surfaces, we'll color unchecked that box then we will be able to see our bitmap as we can see that it is not assigned this part of the site as Laomi soil. First we will be assigning the soil and then we will assign the roads. I will start assigning the soil on the site in the same procedure as I assigned the buildings. So we can see I have already applied the Laomi soil texture across our site area. Now we will be assigning the water body and the road. So to assign water body, we will go to the deep water and same as before, I will be assigning the water body to the pixel points. Now to assign the road scroll up here is asphalt road which is the default road. So by clicking on it, I will start assigning the roads. So I have completed assigning the roads, buildings, water body and soil to the site. Now I have to add vegetation to our site. So to assign vegetations, we have to click on vegetations and mark out where the vegetation will be. So if we go on system 3D plans, we can see vegetations. If we click on Albert Envimit headquarters in data and settings, we'll be able to see the types of our vegetations in 3D. Here we can see the spaces and digitalization have been spaced out here. So we can see various types of trees in our 3D modeling software according to the requirement of our site. So for our site, I'll be using this tree and I will place them according to the vegetation. So I have completed assigning the vegetation of our site. Now we have to check if the buildings are connected properly.
So to check this, we will go back to our buildings and we will go to the building number. And as we can see that it has not assigned the buildings accordingly since this is counting this and this part of building as different parts but this building will be same single structure so to do this we will click on select and mark cell and click on the parts that is the single building structure after selecting all the cells we will click on join as we can see that it is counting the whole building as a single building we have to do this for all the building structures as well Now let me explain all other options. Receptor or marker, we generally don't change that part. We will keep that auto increment name checked in. And then in case of sources, if we need to add outdoor surface sources like water fountain, we can go through here. And DEM is used to add contour to the site if we have a hilly or mountain areas. Single walls is another option we generally try to avoid. This generally works in 3D space, which we will show in later. Generally, we try to avoid single walls as we try to work in our proper visualizations and marker assigning the wall materials in our 3D space. So let us first save this model. We will do that by save as model and save this to our desired location. And then we will go to the edit and convert this drawing to a 3D detailed drawing. And it will show that if we convert to 3D, some data will be lost. So to be sure, we have to save the file and click on yes. And then go to view and open 3D view. Now if we turn on our soil and surface, we will be able to see our site in a 3D structure. To move this 3D structure here, the three controls, that is move forward, back, forward, left, right, zoom in, zoom out, etc. If we have to show or hide our soil, we have to click on this and these are the grid boxes. And by clicking on this, we will be able to go back on 2D view. You can also assign textures to the walls. We go to buildings and scroll down. We can see that there is an option where we assign materials to our buildings. Suppose uh, this building is made of brick wall. There is different types of brick wall. If we click on brick wall re reinforcement, we'll be able to assign materials to the facades. Set individual segments and select our materials and now we will be able to assign our materials to our building. It's just like painting on the wall. Suppose we have to assign glass facade on the building, then we have to click on the materials and if you scroll down a bit, you can see the different types of glass facade. 
There are also concrete walls. There are several materials according to your need. You can change according to the building, then you will be able to create a detailed model of your site in Envimet. We generally try to create a detailed model if the site is very small. Um, be sure to save your file. In order to save your 3D file, click Save As and save your file and save 3D. Then it will be saved in our database. So this is all for this part of our video. Keep watching where we will continue to show how to create a simulation file and run the simulation file in Envimet.